Lord Jesus, we praise your name. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. So loved him. The world that he gave us. He son who you that is life and not man for sin and open the light came that all may go away praise the Lord praise the Lord let the earth hear his voice Jehovah, great things you have done. We give you the glory, Jehovah. We give you the praise, highest praise, adoration unto the King, oh, the one who leads forever. We give you the praise for the great things that you have done. Lord, we came back with thanksgiving. We came back with praise, Lord. We came back with praise. We came back with praise reports to God. Father, we cannot even say everything that you have done. Because there's so much more that you did than what we saw. What our eyes could see, Lord. You did much more. And so with gratitude, our hearts, your children, give you all the praise. All the credit. It's yours, Lord. It's all yours, Lord. It's all yours, Lord. You are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Wonderful, you're worthy. 
shout of praise hallelujah Woo! thank you lord yes you can be seated praise the lord you know when we can't really give our testimonies all we can do is to praise him amen all we can do is to praise him elder judge 
because we cannot say adequately what he has done. We cannot describe fully who he is to us. So we express that gratitude of praise and say, Lord, if we fail to testify, at least you've heard the expression of our hearts in praise. Amen. To say we are grateful, Abba Father, for what you've done and for who you are. We want to thank the Lord for journey mercies. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many, how big was that team from the U.S.? I think we're 11 people. Amen. That's a big team. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can you give your cup to Jesus? 11 people from the U.S. And, uh, and the Lord took us, each one of us, safely back to their homes. Everybody was like, I got back safely. I got back safely. I said, Daddy, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Amen. But you know what has amazed me in these days for, the, I think, the last two trips? We have had a miracle, not only journey mercies for ourselves, but journey mercies for our bags and our luggage. <laughs> so thank you all for praying. Those bags are important to the mission of God. We've been changing bags with every trip we'll go and you just have to buy new ones. But for the last couple of trips, those bags come back untouched. I mean, like, I was like, so we could, this could have been happening all this time and yeah, we're just losing bags for no reason. <laughs> It's the same airlines and it's the same people, but Jehovah, the host, they're guarding our stuff these days, and we're just so grateful. We haven't lost the bag, no broken wheels, nothing. Right. And it's, it may not be a big deal to you, but it's a big deal for us when we, you know you have to spend money always buying new things. And um, so we are truly grateful to the Lord for, for that trip. We want to thank the Lord for all those who traveled with us. We were surprised when we got to um, Tanzania that there were other people from the U.S., that we did not know were coming on the trip. Amen. Yeah, we met them there, and we're like, whoa, you too? <laughs> and so it was, it was amazing. I think we had up to maybe two, three couples from the US we did not know were going to come into the trip. One from New Jersey, from Delaware, from North Carolina. And uh, so it's like the Holy Spirit was just drawing people from different nations. Pastor Bahati was shocked. She said, I've never seen this kind of a thing. Amen. She had over seven, 70 international delegates. Amen. 70 international delegates. She's never hosted anything like that to have people of other nations just flock around. Like she would be at the airport, they come to pick up this one, and the other people appear and they're like, they're coming to the, they're like, when, how, did you register? They're like, no, I'm coming. So that was what the Lord <laughs> They were just blown out of capacity, and, uh, and, and the Lord provided in a way for all of us. It was a great time. I hope we'll be able to get some pictures. But um, for those who went there for the first time, it's an experience. I think all of us should just plan on being there on the mountain, praying on the mountain. Amen. you got to carry your stuff up the mountain, and that's, that's just, yeah, no, that, that's the part that you'll never forget. <laughs> Um, it's like, yes, I'll never forget that. Yeah, and, and you know, the discomfort of everything, of sleeping on the floor, on that tent, and the showering, and all of that, because you love the Lord, and not, not because you're out there for any other thing but to meet with him. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a life-changing experience. It is a life-changing experience. So we thank the Lord so much for, for taking us and uh, the warm welcome of the people, they welcomed us so, uh, I mean, hospitality was just at another level, at another level. We really, really bless the Lord. Um, they, the miracles from last year to this year, so Pastor Bahati said we cannot be waiting for the next year because <laughs> she already wants us back like before. She's like, no more once a year. The mi <laughs> Pastor G's like, what? <laughs> So the miracles that took place in that place between last year and this year are just amazing. So for me, I was just not even just amazed about what happened this year. It's just watching what the Lord did after last year. What we left there and how we came and met the people. Um, it, was, it was so, it was, 
it, it gave me faith that God, you can change people's story like this in a year, in a year, less than a year, actually. Um, we went back last year, I think we're there in, in, in February, in April of that last year, um, Pastor Bahati was <laughs> just like blessed. God divinely positioned her. So um, we were all received in what we call, what they call now is divine house of prayer. And she uses that place, has a sanctuary that takes maybe 150 or 200 people, but it has rooms, rooms, um, each room has a, like a bathroom and things like that. Maybe, I don't know, there were at least 12 of them that I knew of. I don't know how many rooms are there, but that's where she hosted a lot of the international guests. Now that place was, is in the heart of the city next to where the embassies are, next to where um, the government, the White House is. A property, all that she needed to do was to furnish that place. Where the president, the White House, where the president stays in that city. Of course, he has the, he's, he's in the capital, but in every city, there's a White House. That property is right in the middle of all of that. And God just gave it to her. You know, I don't want to get you into the details. <laughs> like, Daddy, you can spell someone like this for the kingdom. The person said, I want this for a church. I'm going to give this. There was somebody offering billions to buy that property. She said, no, I'm going to give this to somebody who's going to do the work of God with it. Amen. <laughs> this was a prophetic word that she'd received in February last year. April, it manifested. We came and we lived. They were sleeping there in that place in that house, divinely provided for by the prophetic word. The word was the, the Lord was telling that her that she's going to be um, lands and property and, and that she's going to build schools of ministry and stuff like that. That was last year. And so we're walking in it. So I told her the schools must come forth, yeah. The word was, because I hardly remember the words I give people sometimes, but this one I remember based on the fact that as we're entering to dedicate the property, the Lord reminded me of that word. The word was that the Lord is going to provide her a place of prayer and a place of worship miraculously. And God will give them some place miraculously, that it will be a supernatural provision. So she reminded me after when I told her that I gave you a word concerning this. She said, yes, she remembered the word very well. And then when they got the property, miraculously, she remembered the prophetic word. So God brought it to pass even before we got there the second time. Hallelujah. That is within. She actually said she made sure two weeks before we came, the Lord provided furnishing. The place was empty. There was no bed, no cheers, nothing. All of that was gotten two weeks before we came. I mean, in one go, you furnish 12 bedrooms. Who does that? Jehovah does that. So we have seen God go, we go from prophecy to fulfillment in Tanzania. We saw it, prophecy to fulfillment. And so now we know that it's not just in the word. The word has manifested. The word has manifested. We came back to Tanzania, the couple that Bishop just prophesied on last year and said that there is a couple actually called the guy who was serving us and said, your wife is in this place. Before we left the next day, we engaged them. <laughs> we pronounced them once engaged. And uh, during that year, they got married. This girl is pregnant. We came and met her full blown pregnant. <laughs> She welcomed us with the testimony, amen. <laughs> I was like, Lord, it's this real from prophecy to fulfillment. So as I was giving her the word, the Lord told me while I was ministering that she is a sign 
because that was the first time we went to the mountain that she is assigned. She's a very, very close spiritual daughter to Pastor Bahati and the servant to the ministry. That she is a sign of the acceleration that is going God wants to do in that ministry. She is the beginning. She's basically like what happens in her life is what is going to be happening in the church and the people of the church. And that she's assigned to what, what God was going to do. The power of acceleration. As I gave the word, I was not even, you know, I, you know, the Lord does not even waste time to say, okay, I'm going to fulfill that word as you go. Before we left, brethren, last year, by the power of the Holy Spirit, God used your man of God here, your servant, your prophet, and brought this one wedding to pass. That was last year. This year. <laughs> I mean, we can laugh again. <laughs> this year, by the time we left, brethren, when I tell the power of acceleration, five marriages, five, five. We went from one to five marriages. Five people engaged in the mountain. Okay, you guys are not shouting properly, yeah? <laughs> You're digesting. Okay, yeah. So this, this is where we are going. This is the power that this year is announcing. How do we mean exactly? How, what? It, it is too much, too unreal. It's really too unreal. Yes. Two of them were the ones driving and they drove, they, they told the woman of God, the brother who drove last year, he got a wife, we must drive this year. That's how violent they were. They're like, no, you're not driving no more. Yes, two of the drivers, two of the drivers got the word, got their wives on the mountain. The two drivers got their wives on the mountain. Exactly the same way. He was like, mm, like two hours away, heard that this kind of stuff, wrapped everything that he had, ran and begged. We had already closed service. We had closed this whole wow. um, a miracle marriages on the mountain. Begged Bishop that this girl, I have been praying. I want her now with his ring. And we blessed him right there. Wow. <laughs> wow. It was an anointing I've never seen. Wow like that before okay he said that he has an anointing for marriages it was it has been unleashed in Tanzania so we thank God for the mountain and uh, it's 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 just the different diversities of what God can do virgin I, I'm, 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 I've seen God do things but this one has really blown my mind totally blow my mind let us not limit our God let us not limit our God we are truly in a new season and all of these marriages are things that the church is celebrating not like people are like ha ah, is this the right person no everybody's like yes yes we saw this in the dream we want this it, it was all of them all of them so I'll tell you one of one of them, and then I'll get Bishop to keep to minister. So now, Bishop is talking to um, and giving an example, and say just like he has called these two drivers, right, in front, and say your wives are in the conference. <laughs> he announced that your wives are here in this conference. So now we are in a terrible, shaky moment because there are at least 300 married people there. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, there were over a thousand people. So, and he points to the lady who is pregnant. Who was that? Was the her miracle of last year? And said, just as the Lord did it for that sister, so He's going to do it for you. But as He points that sister, a single sister who is besides the pregnant woman kneels down. I don't know what she is kneeling down for. <laughs> she positioned herself. She's the one who was chosen for one of the drivers. I wish you guys can watch the videos because I cannot even explain to you how these things happen because it was such 
It was so, it was so miraculous how she knelt down. They were not talking to her. Maybe she thought they were talking to her. He wasn't talking to her. He was talking to the pregnant woman that the way the Lord did for you last year. But she immediately inserted herself. <laughs> she, so one of the things that we got from Pastor Bahati's ministry is the violence of her people. They don't play. The driver said, Bishop, you're not living here without showing me my wife. I have. <laughs> so they are all so aggressive in the spirit, aggressive about the opportunity, believing the man of God and the servant of God. For me, it is that faith in the, the faith that this man carries the counsel of God for my life. That I prayed when I was coming back. I said, Lord, grant me this kind of faith. Because he can be carrying the counsel of God for your life. But you're too passive. Passively waiting for it to just drop in your lap. But I've seen a group of people who were aggressive. Pulling out everything by faith. And indeed, God delivered the word through his mouth. There was a lady who was serving him as well, who came into the car after she had, he had already ministered. And he just, he, he, he just told her that there is a man who is around you. Stop questioning it. It's of God. The girl started crying and weeping. Because all along she's been telling that boy, unless God speaks to me, I will not go ahead with this. Unless God speaks to me, it looks all right, but inside I need a word from the Lord. Bishop knew nothing about this. Just randomly says that there's a man around you. He's of God. Stop questioning. So that was another thing established there. Right there, the man was able to go ahead and propose to her. So it was things like that that gave us. By the time we left, Pastor Bahati just called us that even in my office today, somebody came and asked that he wants to engage somebody. Like, it's like, it's not like a wave. He was there, he's pronounced a hundred marriages. I, here you guys are 10, there they are the hundred. I was like, you, you, this kind of faith is, he asked the Lord for a hundred marriages in that ministry. What is God doing? There is something God is doing. Besides the marriages, there's something that God is doing. And if your eyes are seeing it, it is the power of multiplication. It's the power of fruitfulness. It's that there is something that God is doing. And, and, and I, 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 because I've never seen anything like this, I'm like, Lord, I think that you are, we are in the season of what we have never seen. What eye has not seen, what ear has not heard. So my heart is just like, Lord, we are ready. Amen. Miracle Center, can we say, Lord, we are ready. Lord, we are ready. Lord, I am ready for what eye has not seen, for what ear has not heard. Hallelujah. For what mind cannot conceive. Lord, I am ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's just stand, stand up on our feet and thank the Lord for the new, the new grace that he has poured. Hallelujah. When God uses his servant in a new way, that anointing is flowing through him. That it is the hand of God flowing through him. Hallelujah. And that grace is going to flow to us. And it's going to flow through us. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory for unfolding the scrolls concerning these young people's lives, oh God. Oh God, for opening the scrolls, Lord. Thank you about their destiny, oh God. Opening the scrolls, Lord. The greatest, the greatest thing that people ask about their lives is their life partners. And Lord, in one service, you can just open it up. Open it up, oh God, to whoever wills, oh God. We just say we are so grateful that our eyes have seen this. And 
and that we have been able to partake of this father may your name may your name be praised forever lord grant us this miracle center be aggressive in the spirit grant us the aggressiveness to catch that because it's not a man it's the anointing of god pray oh god deliver us from just seeing a man grant us to see the anointing that flows through the servants of god that you place in this place may our hearts be open that you will transform our lives through them that you transform our life destinies through them that they will speak the counsel of god into our lives and our lives will never be the same again lord in the name of jesus open our hearts lord open our hearts lord we thank you father for your goodness and your mercy in jesus name amen, amen. praise the lord yes you can be seated amen I was waiting for Bishop, praise God. Another testimony that we had, we experienced the hand of God uh, on the last day. Bishop was to minister and um, we thanked the Lord because there was no rain. So now the tents are tents. So, <laughs> and it's a tent, it's a tent. If it's raining, you know, through the cracks, it just drops in. So throughout the time there, we didn't we'd have rain. It was just like little droplets of, yeah. But then on the day Bishop was ministering, it started raining seriously, okay? So, um, so now in front of him, you know, the microphones, the things had to be covered and the people are trying to drag the water out because it's all soaking the whole place. And it was just a distraction. And uh, so Bishop decided that the Lord told him that um, you're preaching about dominion. Take charge and command this rain to stop. Yeah, because it was just distracting um, his message. And uh, we thank the Lord because right there, we saw the power <laughs> and the dominion over creation. Hallelujah. He commanded the rain to cease. And he said, we're going to worship until this rain stops. We stopped, he stopped preaching and we just started singing and dancing and singing and dancing. And as the more we sang, the rain was just shriveling and shriveling and shriveling. Hallelujah. And by the time we finished the praise, it was dry skies. Hallelujah. A dry sky. Hallelujah. So right there, we could see that this is what the word talks about. That all creation is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. They are waiting. Who, who are those who are going to command us? The rain is waiting for command from us. Hallelujah. Because of kingdom purpose. Because if the rain, if the rain knows that you are serving his maker, ah, he's afraid of you. He's scared because he cannot but do the beatings of God. Hallelujah. So we, we thank the Lord because right on the mountain, we saw the Lord seal the skies so that we could continue ministering. Hallelujah. And so that was, that was, but I, I also love the fact that it rained because we had just, Pastor Bahati had just led us to, um, bury the patterns of our life the evil patterns so you write them down we tore them and you have to dig a hole and bury it so when i dug the hole and buried the patterns in your family the patterns of poverty the patterns of lack the patterns of misery let the earth swallow up those patterns so that's what we had done and when i did it the holy spirit told me after you bury it took water and pour over it let it the water is like you're putting the blood of jesus over it so i did that and then the lord i mean the spirit of god witnessed to me that there's going to be an outpouring of rain but the rain is to sink over cover the heavens covering that which we have buried and so to me i was just too grateful because even though those who did not want the rain, I was just, I was just mesmerized. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. You did it just like you said, that you're going to send the rain to pour that. But the rain also had a time, amen? God can send you, and then the enemy say, takes your blessing to extend it and block another blessing. So it had its time. It had finished its course, and so it had to be stopped. So we thank the Lord that we witnessed the rain stopping. And the, the word of God um, coming forth. We were so blessed. All the messages were just life-changing. All, all of the messages. The ones Bishop ministered, um, Prophetess Bahati, at the conference, the Lord spoke that she's not a pastor and, and, and she must embrace her, 
her office as a prophet, in the office of a prophet. So we called her prophetess. Bishop decided he would no longer call her pastor and call her prophetess. Now, what had happened was that that day, both of us were talking because I, I got to share the same tent with her. And we're talking and she was telling me about um, the Lord's call. She actually prophesied before I spoke and was telling me the Lord is going to use me in creative miracles. And... Um, and to endorse the apostolic ministry. And I was like, Lord, this is so good because I, t I just, I did not want to be called an apostle. Now, let me tell you now, honestly, because not because the apostle name is, doesn't really look really beautiful, but it just looks like apostle. Okay, so it, it, <laughs> I didn't want to be called apostle, not for that reason. But it, I, I told the Lord, Lord, the apostles were those who were backed with signs and wonders, not just church planters. Until my life is being backed with signs and wonders. This is the deal. Back me with signs and wonders. I would wear this office with no problem. And so when she said that, I said, Lord, yes, I accept. Accept the office for the sake of the backing with signs and wonders. And so when we got to the room, we started talking. I told her that, but you know what? I received your word, but you yourself. Bishop had said before how you're not a pastor and that you're hiding behind that name pastor. And so she started telling me that she did because of all these fake prophets, you know, and people calling themselves prophets who are not prophets, she has shone away from that office. That was the day before Bishop comes and sings that. We're talking about that. She, we're just sharing. And she said that one of the things that she did not ever want to do is to call herself something where people, I said, but you see, when you don't accept the call, we also limit the blessings that come with that. We limit the, f the influence that comes with that, the financial blessings. So we're talking about that just in our room. And then the Holy Spirit kind of downloads all of that to the man of God. The next day he comes and says, woman of God, you're not a pastor. You've been running away from being called a prophet because of the fake prophets. And <laughs> It was just so good. It was so God. It was like we were truly under an open heaven and open hearts. Like nobody could hide anything anymore in that presence. So we're so grateful for what God is doing and uh, and the promotion in the spirit. We we feel um, God has just shifted us and elevated us in the spirit realm and given us authority to call things into existence. Call things into existence. I'm truly believing God for mighty miracles in this place. I mean mighty extraordinary miracles in this place keys were handed over to us I mean keys in the spirit yeah so impossible cases just know that this year <laughs> the impossible must become possible it must become possible because God is with us hallelujah God is with us and he has shown us that he is with us when he was there and he was calling telling the Lord to send the host to take care of his family brethren we are in Tanzania the host we know have followed us to Tanzania because on the very first day we could feel their presence he told me the host are here I said yes I can I feel their presence and he sent them I think the day before we left Say, Lord, go watch over my family. That same day, we get this notification on our phone. Bam, 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 bam. At least five. Wow. They showed up at our house while we are in Tanzania. And they, I mean, in the largest, in the most dramatic way that we have had, more intense than when we were even present. To me, what that shows me is that we are walking with God. God and he's right here. He's not far. We just say, God, we want you to show up in, in Westminster. He shows up. The same day, not like, I will take two years. 
I'm going little by little to test your faith. Those days are gone. <laughs> now, we have a good father. We have a good father. And I thank the Lord because we have passed from prayers to answers. Amen. We have shifted from the place of praying to the place of answered prayers. Believe that's a grace that Bishop is carrying in this day and this season. So we shall, we shall receive it. Can we stand up on our feet together and just thank the Lord? Hallelujah. On Sunday, we'll have more of those who came, who traveled with us, giving their testimonies. And blessing the name of the Lord for what happened. But to me, it's just that Miracle Center would understand the season that we have entered into. Hallelujah. When God takes your, your ministers, your leaders, or a group of the church to a certain place, it's not just for them. It's for us all to enter in, into this new wave, into this new authority, into this new dominion. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for financial promotions that has come, oh God. Thank you for the financial revolution. It's here, Lord. Thank you for the spiritual revolution. It's here, Lord. Thank you for the economic revolution. It's here, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for family revolution. It's here, oh God. Yes, Lord, it's here. It's here right now, Lord. Thank you for the political revolution, oh God. It's here and you're molding and crafting everything in place, oh God. We give you glory, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. You're here now, Lord. You're here now. Manifesting in our now. Manifesting in our now. We rebuke every spirit of unbelief. I bind every spirit of doubt. Every spirit of unbelief that says, yes, it happened for them. But I'm not sure it's going to happen for me. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. For it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. He's pleased with us. To share with us the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom. And the powers of the age to come. We have entered into this season, Lord. And we thank you, Father. That you're glorious and worthy to be praised. You're the lamb upon the throne. You purchased everything with that precious blood. To unlock to us the powers of the age to come. No longer, Lord, shall we walk around just picking little marbles when we're born to move mountains, Lord. No longer, Lord. Lord, it shall not be just nice things that we say. We shall walk in it. We are walking in it, Lord. Thank you for these testimonies, Lord, that stir our faith and make us know that it's truly a new day. We thank you, Father. We give you the praise and the glory. Jesus name amen